on the Black Swan podcast, we like to touch on serious topics as well. And something came up today, just in conversation right here today, we came up with something and we was talking about something in the car and I said, hey, Joe boy, we gotta take this on the cast. We gotta take this on the pod. We gotta have a conversation about this. I wanna talk to you people out there that, or, or people who've been here before, not the ones who in there, because I'm not encouraging you to do this, but I'm gonna say. But we wanna know, right, the question is, when is it okay to let go? And we're talking about in relationship uh, situations. When is it okay to let go? When is it okay to say, you know what? That's enough and leave. Have you ever been in a situation where you feel in the person, you already have an established connection with the person, you already decide that we're, we're in this relationship, but it just ain't running smooth from your end. I'll, you don't even know what's going on in that end. You, the communication in there, you ain't feeling right. You waking up and ain't feel the same. Situations happen, you don't know what to do. Have you ever been in that situation before? How do you feel? Well, the question is, when is it okay to let go? How many chances, how many tries? Uh, uh, so I don't wanna get into some of the things you were saying, but it's like, uh, 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 when do you say, you know what? I can't do this no more versus Man, I need to put in my full effort in this situation I already decided to invest in. Joe Boy, give me, go ahead. Um, I, it's, it's a bunch of different like answers for that. But for me, it's whenever I feel like Jolando is now compromised. And when I say that, I mean, you could feel like that whenever you feel snuff is compromised. When you say compromise, what you mean? It's like... <clears throat> You know you, you know what you're dealing with. But it comes a time where it's compromising, but comes then compromising who you are. Meaning, like, snuff loud, snuff like drink, snuff could say some inappropriate shit, like at the most inappropriate times, in the most inappropriate situations. That's everybody. No, but the thing is, right, it's like, you was doing more so than others, but you yeah. was snuff. People have accepted your friends, the people that love you. Mm -hmm. They have accepted that that's snuff. So now, he, for, he wasn't there for the intervention. But continue. Yeah. <laughs> continue. <laughs> so now it's like for someone to then come in and okay, you you feeling them, they feeling you, and all of a sudden it starts to become. Okay, it's a problem with your friends. They don't like who you was hanging with. So it's a, okay, cool, you don't have to like the people they around. Then all of a sudden, it's a, I don't like how snuff is dressed. Why you just talk like that? You need to use a certain type of language. And then, it's a, you see what I'm saying? And it's like, a, at some point, you could catch yourself, and the person you, it's like, you always have the person you are, Versus the person you're trying to be, and it's a journey to get there. And once you see someone has veered you so off, like you this way, and you looking at that person you wanted to be, and you realize, but I ain't even heading in that direction no more because of what I trying to do to make this person happy. What if this person trying to stare you in maybe not the direction you're trying to go, but a direction that they see you is another part of a relationship that okay. they could see something in you that maybe you no, can't. no, that's not a. Help me up, go ahead. Your purpose in a relationship isn't to see that person as a different person, you know. It's to see them as the best version of the person that they are trying to be. You see what I'm saying? You may have the potential to be a doctor. You may have the education to be a doctor because of what your degree is in. But Snuffy wants to do a podcast. But if you have someone every day that's down in your dream of doing this Black Swan and getting Black Swan out there. The L-A-C-K-S-W-A-A and the Black Swan podcast, go ahead. You see what's going on? They down, they down in that dream and that vision just on a daily and it's like a, the things they trying to make sure you're interested in. Like when you're online looking at new mics and new equipment and stuff like that, they're like, why are you wasting money on these things? And, that is staring you from a totally different person than you see yourself. You see yourself as someone with a podcast, no matter what else you're doing with your life. Mm -hmm. You see yourself as someone with this podcast. They have no support toward what that is at all. No support, no, 
Not even if they're in support, they have no interest. They wouldn't even sit with you while you're doing it. They wouldn't sit with you in the planning process. They wouldn't listen to your ideas. They wouldn't help you brainstorm. None of that going on. How are you then to hold on to something that's causing you to let go of yourself? But from that perspective, whenever you start to see yourself compromised, but it is it is a okay. Say, I go on, but because why you can't let no one stop you from being you. See, the person. Let, let, let me, 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 me and let me banter with you because I've been in a situation before. I'm sure some of you have been in it uh, been in it as well. I've been in a situation before where what you described may have been accurate. Like yeah, you have a dream or you have a you see yourself a certain way. And I've been with a person who loves and cares about me from. The, the perception that I received and from what they say, I, they love and care about me, but that particular dream, they don't believe in that. But in everything else, they still want to see me do greatness and they have a different idea. And is it like, and I know it's like, yeah, you should always go for yourself or whatever, but shouldn't you be as well, be able to listen? Because if you are in a relationship and you think this person is wise and whatever, shouldn't I be able to listen to this person and say, you know what? Maybe this person's seeing something that I ain't seeing. Maybe I, like, what's wrong with saying that? Like, I understand, uh, living your dream and going for what you want, but at some, at some point, don't you need someone to tell you, stop, <laughs> maybe you need to do something else? You do, but it's, has this person even given you the shot to go for what you want? It's like, uh, okay, sometimes people can be a little aggressive and them trying to push you towards your full potential mm -hmm. as into what you do. But here's what I always look about, look at with relationships too. I mean, like a lot of people didn't come from the, the base in the background, but like, you know, a lot of things we deal with is based on the Bible. Mm -hmm. And point blank period, the Bible says, you leave one person to cleave unto someone else. And it gives, it, it gives those two people clearly, you leave your mother and cleave to your wife. You have, how much people in your life before you get married, but? How many, how many people, but to do it, but you know how we feel about mommy. But guess what? The Bible basically say, put mommy on the back burner and that's number one. So for, in order for me to put mommy on the back burner, right. but your support of what I dealing with, have to be reminiscent of what mommy was dealing with. And here's why I say that. Mommy may not, mommy may have never think you was going to the NBA. But when you was in high school and she you wanted to, to be on the basketball Jones. team she and you want them hype kicks and you want the hand bond and thing, mommy got you on the court dress up. Sometimes you bench in, but she ain't gonna never let you go there looking shabby because that's what you love to do. She can get you everything you need to do what you love to do. But she ain't gonna never let you go sleep after basketball practice and not do your homework though. I sound personal. No, I'm just saying. No, no I feel, you're right. You're but, right. But you're that's, right. But that's Shout out the bench players. But, Shout out the bench players. But and that's, the support they get from their people. Go ahead. You see what I'm saying? But that's what that's what it was. Like mommy had mommy was that. And so for me to leave that type of love and support mm -hmm. and hang on to you, mm -hmm. you have to be giving me something equivalent or greater, boy. And that's just point blank, period. All right, Joe Boy, an amazing answer. So now let me let me say we'll transit a little bit and say, okay, what about you getting that support system? Right? What if you're in a situation where now, I'm gonna give you two examples. One, you in a situation where like, oh, you're a person like you said, you described Snuffy. I, you like to go out, like to be around, like to be people in. You know, you like to be people in. And then you have, you with somebody who maybe don't like to be people in. They like to be reserved. And then you start to have a clash in that type of situation. How you work around that? Here's, is that a good reason to leave somebody? No, here's, here's what that is, like I said, if the compromise causes you to compromise yourself, you love people, but then at the end of the day, you still have to build with this person. So, right. so time has to be spent with them. You can't do everything that you used to do. So here's, here's, what, here's what a compromise is in that situation. Baby, don't go to this. Ma, I don't want to go there. Ma, but come on. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. We're going to leave here by 11.30, be there by 12. 2 o'clock, we coming back home. We don't need to be here till 4 o'clock. Two hours, if you're trying to be with me, you're going to the party with me anyway, so that means you could be spending the, the, most of the time with me. You're going to walk around, you can hail who you need to hail, everyone can know Snuffy being, why the fuck you got to be there till 4 o'clock, all wasted and smash up? 
you sound like Meg Woman, bro. But continue. <laughs> <laughs> continue. But dog, that, wait, listen to me. But it ain't, it ain't me coming up by myself, dog. It's me having the head as from my woman and coming to grips with it and having the perspective on it. Of, yeah, but and it, sometimes it is coming a situation where as dog, the relationship you learn this shit in, you even ain't in no more. But shout out to you, you know who you is, but you even ain't in that uh, relationship uh, no nah, more. Nah, this ain't about me. But I just gonna have one more question. I asking for a friend. <laughs> What if you're in a situation now, you're getting your support and love. Boom. You're getting your compromise and your social life. Boom. Now you're getting your intimacy life. What if you ain't getting the things you need? I'm going to just leave it at that. What if you ain't getting the things you need <laughs> in that relationship life, right? In that intimacy part of it or whatever. At All what right. point do you say, okay, now I need this, I need that. Compromise is cool, but I need this. At what point do you say, you know what, if I get that, I can leave. Go ahead. Okay. You, you spend some good stuff out here for our listeners. All right. Not me for my friend who listening. Go okay. Ahead. Everything in life. Look at his face. Guys. It's full circle. No, that's why. Look right? at his face. Because a lot of a lot of a lot of <laughs> niggas saying a lot of niggas saying I like my answer. Especially coming from the type of nigga like you know where I right, just remember this reflects Joe Boy and not <laughs> the Black Swan podcast. This is going on. But on some real on a real wide, but like you have to come to the realization that your relationship is roughly 5% physical at best on certain... Okay. I'm pulling my calculator. Because <laughs> okay. I know when normally people That's call the percentage is at 100 and you just said 5. Okay, here's it's what... Like 95% of it is what? Continue. Okay. As, as, as with 95% of it is. Regular relationship, our relationship is supposed to be because you're not supposed to be cohabitating unless you're married, correct? Cool. That's just that's just what that's just what the natural order of shit is. So let me show you why I say five percent of your relationship is physical. Okay. Hear you out here. Let's let's start from a let's start from roughly about six a.m. Stop. Start six. again from six a.m. Let's start from roughly about six a.m. Six a.m. You're gonna wake up. They're not with you. You're not with them. The first thing you are doing today. Y'all going to work. So you can head up with some baby good mornings and the da da da's and the da 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 and they dream about you last night with your lying ass. That's, that's, that's when the relationship first starts. That's when the relationship first starts. See, if you, ain't, if you ain't doing that two years in and she online fucking seven in the morning, baby. I'm not a motherfucker there telling her, but I ain't doing that. Well, she, well, night she night don't wake up till one o'clock every day. Not talking about me asking for a friend. Well, mm-hmm. she don't wake up till one o'clock every day. Then she came she home. She should wake up Then she came home time. from six o'clock from stripping if she ain't waking up till one o'clock every day. What the fuck? Anyway, sorry to interrupt your point. Continue. 6 a.m. So, 6 a.m., you all get up. Book a array with the mornings and the greetings and the salutations and all that. You can have some contact throughout the day, but bro, you go going to work 8 to 4, 9 to 5, 10 to 6. However you look at it, you all ain't seeing each other. If you're going, if you're going straight to work, because you know some of y'all niggas is playing night league, some of y'all bowling, some of y'all in the softball league, y'all get practice, some of y'all shooting black swan, y'all got to go get the, uh, the podcast set up. You see they saying some niggas in the studio, some gals got their hair they can deal with. All type of things take away from time with your significant other. Then, when you reach there, you ain't just getting fucked unless you're rabbits or that shit brand new. You see what I'm saying? So, you go off some time, you're getting off. Baby, how was your day before I get these drawers? Mm-hmm. All right, would you like something to eat before I, I get, get these, these drawers? drawers. Uh-huh. Let's start to watch a movie so I can play like we going to do something other than me getting these drawers before I get these drawers. But what if that movie over and then you ain't get no drawers? Then you just had a wonderful evening with your woman after a stressful day at work and you could go home and sleep and do what a fuck How many wonderful know? evenings is enough? <laughs> How many wonderful evenings is enough? Until you decide one wonderful evening, let's put a ring on it. God damn, who are you working for on the Black Swan podcast? My friend ain't loving I wake this. It, I wake My for friend re- ain't loving this. I wake in for reality, bro. All right, continue, continue. I wake in for reality. I wake in for the mindset of, well, a woman who is not putting out where her hair just might be. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So at the end of the day, bro, if... You and your woman mm-hmm. can have a wonderful relationship, right? And sex ain't there. But do you know whenever you all start dub sex, probably ain't gonna be nothing to break your relationship? Because why? The temptation of certain things being there or being removed, you done been through with that person. 
So it's like, uh, okay, let's just say you used to getting from your girl. See, y'all ain't start out well. Y'all was getting, you used to getting it. Then all of a sudden, I ain't getting it. Then one or two things happening. She getting it somewhere else, or you getting it somewhere else while it ain't happening home. Ask a question. And that, wait, that's a legitimate question, because, okay, why it stopped? Did we have the conversation as to why it's stopping? Are we, gonna, are we going to have this conversation as to why it has stopped? Before I even get there, my thing is, how do you get someone used to a certain thing and then take it away? And then what? you Bro, take it okay. away and then expect everything, everything, everything else like to I still say, be the same. 